We are at the edge of the Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge. Today we're here to announce a strategy to save America's Everglades. This represents, if we're successful, and I believe we will be, the largest conservation purchase in the history of the state of Florida. On Tuesday, less than an hour west of Palm Beach, the nation's largest sugarcane producer agreed to sell itself to the state of Florida. Officials and environmentalists are calling it the biggest boon to the Everglades since the National Park was established in 1947. We signed it. Good. <laughs> For about $1.7 billion, the state will get all of the company's assets, including 187,000 acres of farmland. Their properties have been the missing link in Everglades' restoration. No one ever thought the company would give them up. At the press conference, environmentalists were giddy at the prospect. This is huge. This is huge. And I'm so proud of my state. I'm, I'm just incredibly in awe of my governor and the vision and the fortitude it took to secure this for our future. They said it will make the Everglades like it used to be, a natural flow of water moving south from Lake Okeechobee and protecting a unique mix of birds, fish, and other wildlife. Essentially, the connection between the lake and the southern Everglades with the dike and everything for, for a very long period of time has been severed. This gives us opportunity to make, to reconnect. It's dollars and cents and the right thing to do. If it had to go out, I'd rather, we'd all of us rather it went out to make the state of Florida better. But what's good for nature may be hard on U.S. Sugar's 1900 workers. In Clewiston, Florida, where the company has been based since 1931, most people were still trying to figure out what would happen to their jobs and their community. This woman drove from her farm to try and get answers. Hopefully friends will continue to take care of friends. Um, they've always been a friend to us and I, I hope that relationship continues. We will announce today when we get back we're going to give all hourly workers a year's wages and severance at the end of the six years and salaried workers two years wages. There are still many unanswered questions. Yes, yes please. Will any jobs be saved? Will the land be allowed to go natural or will reservoirs be built? And how polluted is the land after decades of agriculture? For now, though, the mood among environmentalists in Florida is one of celebration. Yes, there's a lot of work to do ahead, but the recognition that we've, we've gotten over this part of location, location, location is remarkable. Oh, okay.